Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today I wanted to do a quick little New Year's Target haul. I haven't gone to Target in a long time and just kind of wanted to browse around. I had a few things I needed to pick up and this is what I got. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And let's go ahead and get started. The main reason I went to Target was for a doormat. So I realized when I was putting away all my Christmas stuff and my Christmas doormat that I don't have like just a normal doormat anymore. The last one we had was really cruddy. And then I got a summer doormat, I got a fall doormat, and then a, I had a Merry Christmas doormat. And then I'm like, well, shoot, I'm stuck. It's not springtime yet. I need just like a normal one to fall back on. And I've seen somewhere that you can actually spray them with, I don't know if it's Scotch Guard or like polycrylic. I don't remember. I'm going to look it up and that'll help the like the writing or whatever is on there last a lot longer. So I'm going to try that with this one and see if it works. I brought it inside to show you guys because I don't feel comfortable sharing my front door, you know, with you guys. I don't like to show the outside of the house, but look at how cute this is. So this is from the Magnolia line, Hearth and Hand. It's so cute. So it's a nice large doormat and it was 20 bucks, which I thought wasn't bad. Most of their other doormats are $13 from Target, but they're not as large as that one. And I like a pretty decent sized doormat because it just feels a lot more grand. Um, and looks better on a doorstep, I think. First things first, I thought the bullseye section or their like dollar spot was so cute right now. Like so, so cute, you guys. A lot of like uh, cute kind of vase type things. I didn't get any vases, but they had really cute ones. Um, big jugs, uh, baskets, like just really cute stuff. So I got a few things. One of the things I got was this set of bookends. I just thought it was so stinking cute. My first initial thought is up above our microwave, I have all of our recipes and stuff, and I have a binder that I just haven't put the recipes in. So there's just a bunch of paper, and I have cookbooks and stuff, and I have to like lay them down because they just don't stay standing so I figured these book ends would be so cute they had these ones with like the little detail here and then they had I think a blackish pair and then marble and these are nice and heavy it was five dollars for the two of these I thought that was a steal and then honestly now I kind of am like ooh, I should go get more so that like I can put them on shelves with books and stuff also once I make shelves in our kitchen I might put these on there with the rest, like the cookbooks, because I think it would be really cute. Okay, then I got this, which I thought was adorable. Again, they had more, multiple variations of this, and I want to put Q-tips in this in our bathroom, because I just have Q-tips in the normal thing, and I think this would be really cute on our floating shelves in our bathroom, so that was adorable. And then I have another mini cake stand like this in our kitchen right now with our little Alexa Echo Show on it. And I love these little cake stands because they're really cute with a candle on top of it. They're really cute like I have with the uh, Echo Show on it. They're cute with a plant on it. There's so many good uses for this. And I thought this kind of like rose goldy look was really cute. That's going to be used in a lot of things. This one was $5.00. And this was $3. So I just thought they were all very cute little items that are definitely going to be functional and usable. So happy about those. Next, we're going to go into beauty. I did get more Panoxyl face wash because I can't live without this. And side note, I think I am going to try to schedule a dermatology appointment for the first time ever and see if I can get this skin under control because it's driving me nuts and not going back to normal. Um, then I saw this, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to open it up and see. This is in, okay, background. This is an e.l.f. sunscreen, okay, for face. This is SPF 30. I have a sunscreen that I literally am obsessed with. It's the Eucerin, like, age something sunscreen. I absolutely love it. It's, like, one of the only ones that doesn't burn my eyes. But you know what? I always want to try new things because I'm like that. This one also says it has a glow to it and it has a shade. So I want to say this is going to be like kind of glowy, have a little tint to it. 
and I love a tinted sunscreen, but I've never found one that I'm obsessed with, like the user in one. If the user in one came out with one with a tint, sign me up, you know? So this is the new uh, e.l.f. Skin Well Glow SPF 30 Sun Protection and Makeup Primer is what it says. It, oh, I like that it has like a little pop top like that. It says it has aloe, hyaluronic acid, and squalene in it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you guys. I've never tried the super glue, super goop sunscreen that everybody raves about that has the little glow. But dare I say this could be a dupe. Definitely has like a subtle, subtle glow to it. So I'm gonna try this out and see if it makes my skin burn, ma mainly my eyes usually burn with sunscreens. And I'll report back and see if I like it. But okay, like even if it doesn't burn my eyes, I can put it around like the rest of my face maybe. And this would be perfect for the summer for a little bit of a glow. I know we're not like close to summer, but you know. Another thing just I always, not always get, but I haven't gotten in a while and I wanted to get it again because I do love this. This is the e.l.f. Wow Brow Tinted Gel in Brunette. This is what I use a lot of the time on my brows, but lately I've been using their Micro Brow Pencil because I don't have a gel that has a lot of product left in it, so it's not like covering up my brows good enough. So I got a new one of those. Then I've really wanted to try this because I've never tried this shade before. I used to use Tanologist face drops uh, a while ago, like a long time ago, a couple years ago. And then I started using the St. Marie's Spritz one, and then I just got a new a uh, dropper thing from Amazon and I'm pretty sure it's breaking me out. So I was doing research and a lot of people say that these Tanologist ones are more of a clean ingredient. Don't hate me if I'm like wrong about this, but it's not as much, not as likely to break you out. So we'll see. So these are the Tanologist face and body drops in extra dark. So we'll see how these work because I used to like the other ones and I also want to see if I can use these on my body and it's going to be streaky. I've been very, not against mousses lately, but they just seem such a hassle for me lately to put on a mousse and be sticky and be, uh, you know, on your body. I'm just over it. So I'm very, I'm looking more into lotions and serums and stuff like that for tanning because I'm just over the whole mousse thing. Will I do it for an event? Absolutely, because I think it gives me the best tan. But for day to day, I just don't want to do it every week, you guys. So we'll see how I like this. And I will let you know because I feel like I'm not the only one who doesn't like wearing a mousse every single week, you know. So excited to try these. And then I also got this Pacifica a light multi-mineral BB cream, all-in-one bare skin tint and illuminating primer and perfecting finish, shade matching technology. So it's supposed to match the shade of your skin, but they do have shades because obviously it's not gonna work amazingly. So this is shade six. I just wanted something that I can put on on days I don't wanna wear a ton of makeup, you know? And Pacifica is a clean brand, so I'm hoping it won't break me out. We will see. You never know. It kind of looks a little dark. But it might be changing with my skin. I don't know if it did much. I'm going to have to try it on my face and see if it does anything. Even if it gives me a little tint, I'll be okay with it. But we'll see. And then last but not least, I got a ton of flower seeds. Uh, so this year, I really want to do a cut flower garden in the backyard and I'm sure I will share all about it on my Emily Fry Blair home channel. If you didn't know, I do have another channel that I'm going to try to post more on this year and do a bunch, like show how I'm renovating stuff and everything. But I wanna do a cut flower garden in the backyard and I got a ton of different seeds at Target because they had all of their spring stuff out. So I got, I probably got way too many, but you know, they were, pretty dang cheap so I was like whatever um this is the wildflower hummingbird mix I love hummingbirds and I think it'd be so cute to have hummingbirds come because of that I also got these bachelor button ones because I thought they were so pretty you guys like cut flowers like that so gorgeous uh dahlias I love dahlias then these lupine ones which I thought were really pretty I got lavender, cause I love lavender. I just think it looks gorgeous and smells so good, like that one. 
It says, it says container variety, which I don't know what all of that means. Um, even though this one's a perennial, I don't know. I'm gonna have to research. <laughs> um, and then a Snapdragon one. I also got Xenia. That one's so pretty. This is the giant double enchantress, which I think is so gorgeous. Uh, this sunflower, but I don't love yellow, so I don't love yellow sunflowers, but I thought this one was so pretty. Um, and then I just got an annual cut flower mix, which is good. And then I also got another Xenia one, which is California Giants. So I got five million. Who knows how much of this I'll use, but like I said, they were cheap and I wanna do a cut flower garden. So last but not least, I did get, I did go to Trader Joe's and get some eucalyptus. And although it's not Target, I wanted to share because eucalyptus is one of my favorite ways to spruce up the house in like vases and stuff. I have a ton of plants around the house, but like after Christmas, I feel like everything just looks very not sad, but a little bit. It needs a little life, you know? So I love putting these in vases and I got this variety. I don't know what any of these are called other than the silver dollar one, which is this one, which I love. So I'm gonna mix these two and then this one that has like the seeds and stuff in it and it's a little more droopy. So I'm gonna put those in vases and stuff. I think I will probably share that on Instagram or something like that. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in video very, very soon. Bye, guys.